Welcome back to Elder Kings. So, I think it might be a good time to start thinking about invading the Empire. Because, yeah, they have less men than I do. And I've got money. The Senate of a Vampire Scion. Huh, interesting. No matter. So, yeah, invading the Empire is not going to be easy. But this is why I want to do it. I will take the Empire for myself, if I have to, if they're not going to elect me as the Emperor, that is. Which, unfortunately, seems like they probably won't. Although I am second in line for the Empire. But they're probably just going to vote for someone else. Well, I suppose a little bit of murder could help. Yes, let's do murder. Although I'm slowly dropping down. Yeah, they don't know who they want to vote for, to be honest. It's very clear. Now, can I hire the Dark Brotherhood? No. The Dark Brotherhood is just a little bit more expensive than what my budget allows for now. That's fine. Ah, right, good. I don't have to murder anybody for my son to be in charge. That's good. Very good. But. You. You will die. Perfect. And unfortunately, just like I thought... They immediately went towards anyone else. And this is why I must invade the Empire. Now, can I become a warlord? No, I can't. Hmm. That's fine, a bit of a shame, but it's fine. The Queen of Solitude has attacked me. You are a fool to fight me. And I will make you regret it. You stupid idiot. I guess I could become a chef, why not? Yes, yeah, so let's send half the army forward. Just to uh, ignore the attrition a little bit. Because yeah, I'm sure marching about 10,000 men across Skyrim would not go too well. Oh, it's winter. Attrition has set in. It's a bit of a pain in the ass, but that's fine. Yeah, it should be a simple war. Just waiting on sieges and such. Ooh, I murdered someone on the battlefield. Fantastic. Well, maybe not murder, but like, grievously wounded, I think is a better word. Oh, they siege something. I haven't been really paying much attention to their army. That's fine. Really? Did you really just do that? <sighs> Where is it? Um, yeah, there we go. I will be taking my son back. Thank you very much. Alright, you're dead. You're 100% dead. And there we go. Both my assassin plots and also the war are going to hopefully be finished. Uh, I feel like I should be able to just, you know, imprison you. No. 74 gold? Oh, hell no. Yeah, you're dead. You're 100% dead. If I can't do it, I will gladly get the Dark Brother to do it. <sighs> I'm now known murderer. Oh, well. It was worth it. Now, how am I to get this land back for my son? Is he still in jail? Oy, oy. I mean, this man's in my jail. So I feel like, why can't I? You know, like, just demand that he uh, release my son. Oh well. I'll figure this situation out soon enough. I've got bigger prizes to look at. Yeah, let's get the army marching towards Riverwood. And we'll make the trek from there. Yes, this will be a hard and long war, but I see no issues. We are stronger than the Empire. The Empire is weak, spineless, cowards. All of them. Yes, let's just smash through down into Cyrodiil. It'll be simple and quite effective. They're trying to go through the Eastern Pass. I think they will die of attrition through there. But we will see what happens. Rebels, eh? Where? That is a lot of rebels. An annoyingly high amount of rebels. Whatever, let's just go through Pale Pass. I could deal with the rebels later. I have some king making to do. Ah, the Imperials are here. Look at them run like the cowards that they are. They had more men, yet they still ran. I probably shouldn't be assaulting this much. But Sankrator is not mine. I must protect it from the Imperials for their shoal to come back. Should be simple though. The Imperials don't know how to fight. I should really do something about those rebels, shouldn't I? Yes, I should.
but I'm going to just keep fighting in Citadel. It is a bit more important than some pathetic little rebels now. They're going through the pass into Skyrim, eh? Interesting choice. If they keep going north, I will gladly kill their men here in Cyrodiil. Death it is. Oh, they ran. Cowards. Yes, yeah, so they're making a mess of Skyrim while I'm making a mess in Cyrodiil. Unfortunately for them, though, things are not looking in their favor. I will hold this pass, and they'll have to get through me in order to get in here. Will their large army save them? Perhaps. Or will they die to attrition crossing through the pass? A great battle has begun. Who will win it? Let's find out. Oh, a close defeat. But not the end of things. Sure they won that battle. But I will come back from this. I have money. I'm sure the Imperials also have money, but I have more money. Money. <laughs> Yes, I did quite a blow on the Imperials. They are hurting, but they are not dead yet. I need to make them dead. They retook Sankrator. Not an issue. Once my army recovers from that loss, things will be much better. Good. I'm back at control, and the Imperials are seemingly nowhere to be found. What a shame. Ah. It appears I have ignored uh, the rebels for long enough. No matter. I didn't want their kind anyways. But the Imperials have just let me run amok of the place. So yes, I will take this. Thank you very much. Now then. I want the best person on the job. Start digging. I must find... What I desire. There, my son is a Jarl again. Now, can we stop these shenanigans and actually vote for him in the moot? No. For some reason, he appears to be non-existent. Oh wait, is he in there now? I do not understand. There he is. Excellent, much better. Now as for you, you're causing issues, yes? Perhaps the Dark Brotherhood, yes? Perfect. Now, must you really do this? I will just keep murdering people. Whether it's personally or through the Dark Brotherhood, I do not care. If someone gets in the way of my desires, they must die, simple as that. Oh well, a shame. Who even are you anyways? The Jarl of Hafengar. Hm. Shame. Good, I think they finally learned their lesson about who they should and shouldn't vote for. Now as for the Imperials... Hmm... Unfortunately, I do not think there was much I could do in my lifetime. Well, aside from prepare my son to take the throne. That will be simple enough. But I need time. Time that I do not know that I have. Oh boy, I would just keep it some wood in my inventory. That sells for a good price, yeah. Very good. In fact, I've got a bunch of crap that I could sell. More wood, some dried fruits, and some spirits. Ah, it's good to see that I'm the best administrator in the entire world. Unfortunately, I can't do this job myself. I need to allocate it to someone else. You must not be a close relative of... Who's that? Your liege? Yes. A shame. I require you in my court. So, unfortunately for him, he must go. The assassin was killed. Are you kidding me? Do it again! Useless assassins. What is with this man? Why is he impossible to assassinate? Ah, that would explain it, yes. Well, I have money. And the Dark Brotherhood have people. Perfect. Now then, you will need to come join my court now. Excellent. I need someone like you. Now please dig for what I need. Ooh, I just thought of something. I suppose I could forge my son items. That will make people like him more. Yes. Or I could give him my items and forge new ones for myself. Both of those things would work. 
I will give him my amulet. That should at least spam minimum make people not hate him as much. Yes, good. And I will make a new one. It is all fine and good. Um. Okay then. I guess I'll hold on to the city for the time being. It makes me a little bit more powerful. And I suppose it makes room for my son to be the Magister. Good. And the court mage. And court physician. But he can't be the regent. Not yet, at least. Well, uh, where's that... Uh, wh wh where's my Dark Brotherhood button? There it is. Mm -hmm. Did you learn your lesson? Better have. Because I'm tired of having to spend my money on mer mercenaries? No, I want to spend my money on mercenaries. I don't want to spend it on Dark Brotherhood assassinations. Really? Again? Uh, I could do this myself, but it's just easier to have the Dark Brotherhood do it. Anyone else? Anyone at all? No? Good. Now stop being dickheads. I lost the commander. Shame. Battle of Ironbinder. Hm. Oh well. Well, looks like another one will be biting the dust. Ah, this one's cheaper for some reason. Don't know why. But I will take it. Uh, of course, they're useless idiots. Interesting. This traitor. You must be put down with. You cannot be trusted to live. Dark Brotherhood. Please do not fail me this time, yeah? Ebony deposits, eh? That's not what I wanted, but I guess that's a good start. Now, do not fail me this time, yes? I keep inheriting things. I don't want to inherit things. Inheriting things is bad and annoying. Good. The traitor is dead. Fantastic. Are you kidding me? My Lothane is in my capital. Yes, I suppose that is true. But do I put my spy master in the capital? I guess so. Wait, who is this? This isn't the person I'm trying to assassinate. Um, Dark Brotherhood it is then. That's not the Dark Brotherhood. Why was I lied to? This is unacceptable. Why do you vote for this fool? And not my good son. Traitors, all of you. I'll gladly have you all executed for this. They just don't learn their lesson, huh? You think they would? With how many people I've killed? Oh, I suppose I could ransom out prisoners, couldn't I, for money? Yes, I do need money, don't I? Sure, ransom the prisoners. They'll be used to uh, fund assassinations on traitors in the Empire. Come on, Dark Brotherhood, do not fail me. I have spent good money on this. Perfect. Now, anyone else? Any more traitors? Eh, of course, there's more traitors. There's always more traitors. This one I can at least assassinate myself, though. Now, yeah, let's send my spy master over there. Deal with that problem. You're even voting for my other son. Well, at least someone was. Don't know who. And another one bites the dust. Now, are you done trying to cause issues, my vassals? Because I would like to go back to doing other, more important things, yes? Out to the great! My liege, at your instruction I have been surveying the province of Sancrator and discovered the ancient tombs of the Raymond dynasty. My gods slew the guardians and we entered the tomb, retrieving for you the amulet of kings. <laughs> Excellent! Now there is none who could say that my son does not belong in the ruby throne. Unfortunately, I cannot wear it. But, my son, Ken. What happened to his bloodlines? He should have, like, four, was it? Oh well, at least he still has the most important bloodline. That's all that matters. Here you go, my son. Take your amulet. And... No? Never mind. It must stay in my safekeeping until one day you become king yourself. And then you can bring yourself to victory. Like I have here today. Or, I suppose, these many days of leading the people of Skyrim to prosperity. Look at what's going on down in the Empire. It's a mess. Petty squabbles and just nothingness. My son could be the true heir to the throne. Unfortunately, these filthy Imperials refuse to elect me. But, 
Perhaps when they see the true heirs here, wearing the Amulet of Kings, they will change their pathetic minds. Well, I suppose I could build a hedge maze. I think people would like me if I were to build a hedge maze. Yes. Yes, there will be statues of my family. My dynasty will appreciate this, Jester. Yeah, yes. That is the only thing that can go into the glorious hedge maze. And a large fountain filled with wine on all days of the week. And of course, only the most exotic flowers imported from the farthest reaches of the world. And of course, a pavilion. The most important part of the hedge maze. I could become a gardener. I think not. It is effort. And I prefer my many passion projects. Ah, good. My son learned how to be a bit of mage by learning about, uh, yeah, healing magic. Not bad. You know what? He was able to succeed once. I shall invest in him some more. And maybe he will become a great emperor of Tamriel someday. Hopefully. But my body has grown infirm in my old ages. I'm not long for this world. There's another traitor on my deathbed you do this to me. Coward! Scoundrel! You must die. Good. No more cowards and scoundrels. What do you mean? This is ridiculous. How can you possibly expect these fools to lead? It might be too late for me. Perhaps I go out and hunt, even in my old ages. Just to cling on to that last tiny bit of life that I need. I have an idea. I don't like it, but it might just work. Where is it? Ah, there it is. I'm blind. Yes. I assassinate the traitors, and then I abdicate. It might just work. But I need money. And lots of money. So much money. Come on, get rid of the prisoners faster. Banish any of them, I don't care. I need money. I need the Dark Brotherhood one last time. Dark Brotherhood, do not foul me in my time of need. I need you now to work more than ever. Perfect. Now, I will abdicate. Before the moot can decide to choose someone new. They will accept my son. <laughs> they must. They will. Oh, well, that was a crazy few years of my father, but... Oh, well. I'm now the king of Skyrim. The moot has been eh, ignored, mostly. But I now wear the amulet of kings that my father found for me. The Imperials should be much more willing to see me as their true leader. Now then, do you fools see me as your true leader or not? I should be your true leader. Encroaching foreign ruler. Even though I have the amulet of kings and the blood of the Remans in my veins. A shame. But I think this will be a good stopping off point. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe. Discord in the description below. And I'll see you next time.